heavyweight championship fight between Mark Jacasey and Max Holloway. Well, his 13-fight winning streak is no more, but Max Holloway still makes this walk here tonight as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world when it comes to pace, pressure, preparation, cardio. Few guys are gonna be able to match what this Hawaiian brings to the table. And he can do it all. He's got great ability to get back up once he's taken down. He has takedown ability, but it's the range and the distance management that makes Max Holloway such a problem for everyone at 145 pounds. He doesn't seem as though he's throwing 100% effort with every strike. He's just touching you. Right. But the accumulation of damage that Max Holloway will put on you will make guys just fold in front of him, as we saw with Ortega and in both Jose Aldo fights. He's a big featherweight. We have seen him compete at 155 pounds. He has said he wants to move up to welterweight <laughs> before his UFC and career is he said and done. He wants to beat me. Yeah, he wants a shot at the heavyweight champ. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, presenting the challenger, Max Blast Holloway. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, six losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Doncaster, England. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. Mark Bonecrusher Dyer Casey. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. So here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down, DC. This is where it happened, J.A. Lost for words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. 
Pete Rose Namajunas, and you can hear me yell, Doug Rose, Doug Rose, Doug Rose. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Slips the punch. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Nice, sneaky head kick. It's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Jacasey. Holloway not having it. And he landed the right hand there. Nice leg kick land. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Holloway. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. So we cross the 30. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far. Big massive shot land. Look at how tough of the corner is going. Still standing, still in their fight. Slips. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great. Round two Great. coming up next. Great. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. He's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Punch coming. It's blocked. Look at the whip action that comes from Jim throwing that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, Jacasey gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Right 
Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nice. Trying to establish that jab once again. Attacking the body now, that shot blocked. Lands the right hand. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Hook shot lands. He's hit right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, Jacasey gets caught with that punch. Oh, big left hook there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Jacason. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Holloway gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, is that a big knee? The body will see if he can follow up. And both guys really throwing with authority. Holloway's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been a big year. Like that left hand. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, nice punch there by Jacase. with the right. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can... Whoa! He needs to start... Whoa! Wow. And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! 
you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched well. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 12 seconds of round number three. Join the winner by knockout and new USC lightweight champion of